interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Make it stay straight. 
I like the dorsal fin. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside them. Pectoral flippers are used primarily for steering and stopping. The lobes on either side of his tail are called flukes. Tail flukes are the power engine of the killer whale, propelling them to speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, as fast as our speedboats. And they swim the fastest and use the most power for propelling their bodies up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals, with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pot. And calls for group coordination and hunting. studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as part of their communication. They'll use pectoral slaps to get noticed or to show their dominance. For example, a mother may use a peck slap to get her cat attention. But when they really want to be heard, they breach! Spy hopping is a way for killer whales to get a better look at their surroundings and to coordinate their behavior when they hunt. survive in the wild oceans of the world. 
The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal.
to demonstrate a similar behavior right here. today, 
you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.